What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be doing a uh, like a street legal supermoto build on this 08 Suzuki LTR 450. Basically just going to be lowering it down, uh, throwing on some uh, some street wheels and tires. Um, been wanting to do this for a while now and I'm actually going to go through uh, the same company who I got my side-by-side -side street legal from, Dirt Legal. Um, and we're actually going to be getting it street legal. So we're going to be putting turn signals on it and, and a horn and, and all that so it's legitimate. Uh, that'll be in a different video, but today we're going to put the uh, the lowering links on it, get it nice and low and nice and wide, and we're going to put the street wheels and tires on it. So let's get right into it. All right, so what we have here is we have the lowering links for the front, uh, and then we have the rear lowering link. Uh, these just basically take the uh, stock shock, and what it does is it just kind of takes their mounting point from here and pushes them out here, um, which just lowers the front of the bike down, just pushes the shock out slightly. Um, so it should be probably at least three to four inches wider in the front uh, and probably about three or four inches lower as well. And same thing in the back, it'll be about a three to four inch uh, drop and this is all adjustable. So you can, you know, select how low you want the bike to go. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll throw the front links on first and then we'll throw the back on after. All right, so we're gonna start zipping these uh, shocks out. So just gonna impact it off to 14 mil. Careful because the shot's going to drop. I have to take this brake uh, line off as well. All right, guys, so what I ended up having to do is just completely uh, take the shock out just to be able to get the link in, basically push the shock into the link, and then now I can uh, bolt the top back up. I'm going to do the other side first before I bolt the top shocks back in. Um, just throw the link on there, just way easier. Um, had to pull the covers off and stuff to get them in there, but and then it looks like this little L-bracket just bolts here. That must limit how far and up and down it can go. Uh, and then as soon as I started doing that, UPS guy showed up and these beauties came in these are the street wheels and tires i want to say they're 10 wide um in the back and like eight wide in the front but uh i'm gonna redo the white lettering on these give them a good cleanup give them a good polish but these should look really really sick on this especially when it's lowered and, and widened so super excited for the the final look but uh let's get back to it all right, guys, so we got the shocks back in, just tightening up the last couple bolts now, and we'll be able to take the jack out and see where it sits. So let's finish her off. She's low. Nice. Yeah, definitely lower and wider for sure. We'll see what the offset looks like on those new wheels, but I think she'll be pretty wide. All right, guys, so we're gonna start working on the rear lowering link. So I got the jack under there, uh, jacked up on the frame, back of the frame, and I got some um, super reliable Harbor Freight jack stands there, the Widowmakers. Hopefully they hold up, but I always usually keep the jack underneath it because I got to climb underneath there. So with the jack and the two jack stands, I mean, chances of something happening are, are pretty low, but I don't want to drink myself. So this, I believe, it's been a while since I installed one of these. I had a KFX 450i. I had one on to lower the, the rear end a little bit, but I want to say it just goes there, from there to the swing arm link. So let's uh, get taking it apart and uh, see what happens. All right, so look like looks like this just uh, takes the place of this uh, swing arm uh, to shock end link. So we're basically just gonna take the bolt out of here, take the bolt out here, and then put this in its place. So let's get started on that. All right, so I ended up breaking this free. I had to use a breaker bar, uh, 17 mil extension, and then 14 mil with an extension on this side. So let's go ahead and take this out.
just had to tap it with a hammer just kind of locked in there pretty good so give it a little tap came right out I should be able to throw the other one in All right, guys, so you can see it's significantly lower. Really like the look. It's pretty low. I'd say it's probably about maybe eight inches off the ground. Could go a little bit lower, but I kind of am happy with the way it is right now. So I could go to the next link on the rear link to make it lower. And I still have a little bit of preload on the front shocks if I wanted to go a hair lower, but you know, when I sit on it, it squats as well. So that gives you like an extra two or three inches of lowness. Man, it is better than what I expected. So insane. The wheels fit great, nice and wide like I was looking for. It's got a nice stance to it. Took it for a quick rip and it's pretty easy to get the back to slide out too, which is awesome. Have some fun on the street. Really nice tread pattern on the tires. So these are ITP, all aluminum wheels. They're super light. And these are uh, Duro uh, Scorcher. Yeah, Duro Scorcher street tires. So yeah, super impressed with it. Can still go a little lower if I wanted to. I may, um, just depends on how much I actually ride it off-road compared to how much I ride it on the road. but. Like I said, I'm going to be getting the street legal, so it'll have a registration, a tag, you know, blinkers, horn, the whole nine. It'll be legitimate, so I could actually ride it around town if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys like the content, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time.